Hello everyone, Tanya Gustafson, your nutritionist and fitness coach with Fit Nutrition. Welcome back to another Two Minutes with Tanya and in our series of the six saboteurs of good health. So we talked about focusing on the calories and we talked about eliminating food groups and today we're going to talk about deprivation. So that's number three on our saboteur list. Deprivation, you know that that thing where we believe that in order to lose weight, in order to make healthier habits, we have to deprive ourselves of the things that we love or we can never have, you know, fill in the blank again. Okay, you can never eat chocolate again. You can never eat out in a restaurant again. You can never have ice cream again. No, and, and that's the idea that causes us to fail because just like children, anyone out there who has children will know, will, will resonate with this. If you take something away from a child and don't give them something in to, you know, exchange that with, all they want to do is focus on what you've taken away and they want it back. Adults are no different when it comes to our food, let me tell you. So if you're going to remove something out of your diet and you don't put in something to replace it that's going to give you that satisfaction, that's going to make it feel good, that's going to make you uh, appreciate and enjoy what you're eating, then you're just going, you're only going to be able to hang on for a little while and you're going to be hanging on with your fingernails. For, for a short period of time and then after that you're going to kind of go back to where you were before and you're just going to be like, oh man, I just can't do that. And nobody can, okay? The you're not alone. The statistics say that less than 1% of people can maintain that diet. So don't beat yourself up. It's not you. It's the diet. They don't work, right? So stop depriving yourself. What you want to do is find healthy alternatives for what you love. So for example, we go back to the chocolate, right? If you're a chocolate girl, find, um, or guy, find a, maybe a good protein bar, a good quality protein bar that has a, you know, bit of chocolate in it. Okay. Now you've got some protein, you've got some fats, you've got some carbs, so much better than just, you know, grabbing that chocolate bar off the, off the shelf at the grocery store. So now what happens maybe if you like those fancy frothy drinks, at, uh, at uh, Starbucks, right? We all love to have a Frappuccino. I make mine at home. I've got a great protein powder. I mix in a little bit of cold coffee in there. I put a little bit of coconut milk, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of cocoa, whatever it is that you like, whatever your flavor is. You can make it fruity, you can make it mocha, and I blast it all up with some ice and I love it, you know, and it tastes really good. Trust me, you're gonna be saving some money as well too, so you're welcome and uh, you're gonna stay balanced. So those are just a couple little examples here, and I just want you to think about that. You know, going out for dinner, you can look at the menu and make good choices. You can also have an off-plan meal, which means you just eat whatever the heck you want, and three hours later, right, because we're PFC every three, so three hours later, you're gonna get back on track with a balanced meal, or even a half meal if you're feeling really stuffed, you know, then I would suggest having the protein shake because liquid's gonna help you digest that. It's also gonna help get rid of the bloat, and it's gonna let your body know that, hey, you're not going back to starvation mode, you are on track, and you are the boss, okay? So remember that. Take a look and see if any of these things that are, you have been doing are maybe sabotaging your health, and then you can get back on track.